What's up, guys? It's your boy Arsonist, subbing for Golden Boy today. Um, as you can see in the title, we have an unboxing video for you. Um, it's the Tipman X7 Phenom. Well, it's a special unboxing because we have the super kit today. So I'm just gonna go straight forward into it. That's how it came. A little tool here to open this up. Get that open. Pretty exciting because it's the super kit, it's not just the regular phenom. So I'll show you what the super kit comes with. Boy. Paper, what not? Paper. Right, get that box out the way. That's that. Alright. So as you can see guys, it is the super pack. Includes the the original X7 um, Phenom, along with F16 mods, um, the Assault mod, the G36 mod, and the Nuclear mods. It says uh, 17 mods with 1,000 different possibilities. So, let's find out how many possibilities we got. Let's open up this box here. Kind of excited guys. Here we go. Let's fresh out the box. Comes with the, the M16, AK47 mag, and the stock already on. Yeah, so this is, oh, adjustable, adjustable stock. There's your cyclone hopper. Along with the M16 front trap. So, got under here. I don't even know where to begin. All right, owner's manual. That's the assault stock. That's the back assault stock. We got the X36 carry handle. 16 carry handle. Just gonna get it all out the box first. Gonna get it on this table, and we'll probably just make some sense of this all to get the box out the way. Actually, too many things. To so you can see it is. Right. Now that that's out the way, let's get the box out of the way. Oh, look at that! Another barrel. All right. So we're going to start. This is the 14 inch Pathfinder barrel. Pretty damn sick actually. Ooh. That's sick. There's that. Make some sense for all this thing. Yeah, so much more. This M16 front size. I feel like a kid on Christmas. Alright, G36 Shroud. That's the front track of the G36 mod. Got a little tool kit. Um, squeegee, some alley keys in there. Four rings, I think. So I'm to get there. This looks like an 8 inch barrel. I want to say that's the stock barrel. Put that there. This, another shroud. Found bag. Front sights, rear sights, uh, 
a sling holder right here. Got a couple sights in there. One, two, three sights right there. We got the UMP foregrip. That's the other kind of out of that. We got M16 straight mag here. And I want to say that's the UMP mag. There. This is the folding stock here. So we have another stock that's two stocks. Also have M16 carry handle, which I showed earlier, for the top of M16 mod. We have the X36 with the G36 folding, I mean the, the carry handle. Put it there. And then the assault stock and the sight kits is right there. Alright. Also, Little, uh, the barrel, barrel cover along with the back, back plug if you don't want to put on the stock along with some more pins and I think a couple more in there. Alright, so we got the phenom here. Take this off. Take this off. And that's everything that comes with. So we have 17 pieces in here, or more, I'm pretty sure there's more of them. We cut it all, one by one. Um, let's go ahead and actually try to put one together. I think the first I'm going to try to go ahead and put is the M16. Let's do that real quick, I'll show you what it looks like. Alright, so decided to put it, put it together real quick. This is the M16 setup. So it starts off with the, the adjustable. M16 mag, M16 carry handle, M16 straight mag, M16 shroud, and M16 front sights along with the 14 inch barrel. Um, the biggest thing that I forgot to mention when I, when I pulled this out the box was that it's electric. So it has electric mode, it has mechanical mode, and it's obviously safety. So um, in the middle of the game, battery goes dead, which goes right here. So pop open, put the battery up in there. Um, so if your battery goes down in the middle of the game, you can just switch to mechanical mode, right on the field, and just keep shooting. Um, got the little magazine right here on the bottom, little button, take that off, like that, pop that one off. I kind of like this one better. I think it's the AK-47 mag. It just looks better with this, with this setup. I think I'm gonna stick to the setup. I kinda like this setup a lot. Um, we also have the cyclone hopper up top with the little got ball stuck in there somewhere. Um, what else we got going on? Uh, also have the eight, I wanna say this is the eight inch rail. That could be the 10 inch. Just wanna show you guys what, what that looks like real quick. This uh, looks pleased too with that. Um, uh, This side, the back side of it, got the velocity um, adjuster, up is up, higher, lower. The best thing about the gun is that you can switch it up into different um, setups, of course. And it's, it's really simple to do, all you have to do is pop out these little pins right here. And just, you just push them off, put them back in to separate the, the parts out. It probably takes like know, less than 30 seconds to take off and put that on. So if you're in the middle of the game and you want to uh, change the setup for some reason, maybe it's too heavy or something, you just get and uh, change them off right there in the field. Um, what else can I say about this gun? Trigger. The lower trigger. If you can hear that. 
That's the electric mold, mechanical mold. Still feels the same. Very soft and, and uh, smooth. Getting it right down the sights. That's the best thing about this one too. Because we were just aim right down there. Um, so I have the Dangerous Power G5. I wanted to switch it up a little bit uh, from this blue ball gun to something that looks a little more tactical. And this is just absolutely perfect because I can switch it up to whatever tactical um, look that I want. I can switch it up a little bit to the UMP style, which is probably going to be a little layer. Um, take the stock off if I want to, just put a little, a little lighter shroud on there, so let's keep the smaller barrel on if I want to go with something a little lighter. Because um, I'm also going to have a tank on. Um, so if you guys want to pick this up, I bought, I got mine from ANSgear.com. Um, it was about $4.99-ish. I also have the Kingman um, Hammer 7, which is going on sale soon. I'm um, trying to get rid of it, trying to put that money into something else. Um, it's an exclusive color. It's coming after probably a little bit cheaper than the selling price, of course. You can find it anywhere else. So if you're interested, um, just drop a comment in the bottom um, and I'll get back to you. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. If you like the video, thumbs up. Um, just make sure you keep, keep staying tuned because there's a lot more to come. Golden Boy also put up a video unboxing me about too long ago of his new DM15. So check, make sure you check that out. Um, you probably got a game coming to you soon, so make sure you stay tuned, guys. Um, again, tip my next seven female super kit. Um, 17 different mods in there. Uh, thanks, guys. Peace out.